welcome back to my channel. I hate the way I say that, it's not even how I speak, but hello and welcome back to anyone that's watched me before and hello to anyone that's new. Today, as you all, I don't know why I say this either because you already know it's a Dior unboxing. So I like my unboxings to be like a shared moment of me opening something exciting. This channel is all about attracting other people that are into the same things as me or maybe you're doing it just as a light hearted watch or whatever, whatever. Um, or you, w you want to get some useful information. So I do try and make my unboxings and all my hauls really useful. Usually when I do an unboxing, I like, I do this and then I feel, leave it for two weeks, I use the bag and then I end the video with how I feel about the bag and if I think you should buy it and what I like and what I don't like. With this, I'm not doing that. That's only because I have used this bag before and I know all about it, so I can tell you all in, the, all in this video anyway. So um, yeah, let's get into the Dior unboxing. So this was a, it's not, it wasn't planned. I had been, it's been on my mind for a long, long time. Like the actual bag has been on my mind for a long, long time. So it was planned. I never ever buy something really expensive and don't really think about it. If you watch my last vlog, you can watch me filming buying this. Like it's all the build up of how I was fighting with myself not to buy it. So the whole shopping process of me buying it is in the last vlog. Yeah, it's in the last vlog. I was just thinking, should I do this one first? So yeah, if you want to know how it was when I bought it, then watch the last vlog before. Um, I'm going to do what I normally do. Oh, it's so cute. It's all the Christmas wrapping paper as well. I'm going to do what I normally do, show you the bag, because, um, yeah, it's a bag, by the way. So many of you just want to see it. And then for those of you that want to know the story and what I feel about these bags and all of that stuff, stay on to watch it afterwards. But I know how impatient some of you are, so let's unbox it. Obviously, I haven't unboxed it yet myself. I need to make sure that you can see this. I've been filming in here all day. I've been in the rain. My makeup's all probably half off. It's like nine o'clock at night. It's probably completely orange light, but I couldn't wait any longer. I love the Dior boxes. It's my favorite packaging of all time. My worst packaging is Hermes. I don't know what thinks that they should have a neon orange box like that, but I love the white ones. I love how this is all embossed and it's just so lovely. I always go silent in this bit because I get so like, it never gets old. You can see. Still comes with the beautiful swan dust bag. Any guesses? So I put this on my Instagram stories, um, if anybody can guess, and about 50% of you got the exact bag right. It was a no-brainer really, because it's so me. Oh my god, oh, it smells really nice. So any guesses? Ta-da! So I bought myself the mini Lady Dior. I bought this from Harrods. Oh, it's just so cute. And um, so I'll tell you the story basically, but be first, before we go, I'm going to show you the difference between the small size and I, I don't know what's happened, but I've lost my twilly on the other side. It's so strange. So this is the small size in happy pink and this is the mini size. And you know, I do not even know what the color is. Um, I'll, text, I'll text Dior and ask. Yeah, I'll ask her. She'll tell me what, what I'll write you here what the name is. So this is the mini size, and it comes with this one comes with the strap. I'll link the unboxing to this for those of you that haven't seen it, but it comes with the thick leather strap, which I love. I really love it. What's that? Ah! Don't do that! You made me jump! Don't come. Everyone's going to think that you're my slave because I did a haul the other day, like the video that I just filmed before this and he bought me a sandwich and now he's bought me a gin and tonic. There you go. Oh, thank you. This is my Saturday night, by the way, filming. Um, why don't you sit with me because... You promised this to your followers. Oh God, it's too late now. Come and sit next to me because I think a you A microphone. Yeah, he got me a microphone because you were all saying you can't hear me, but I forgot all about it. Next time. So can you sit with me and talk about the Lady Dior? No. Come on. Should have bought your gin and tonic. 
What do you think of the new sofa? Yeah, it's nice. Um, do you want to talk about the Lady Dior and why it's your favourite bag? I try to look cool. Yeah? Oh my god, no! <laughs> right, so talk about the Lady Dior. Because you're, you're the reason why I bought my first one. This is a handbag. Its purpose no, is to put stuff you could put in your pocket, but you want to put it somewhere else just because you want another accessory, isn't it? But um, everybody here what, is interested in bags, so they don't care about you saying that. I like the Lady Dior because it's, uh, what is it? Chic? What do I say? I don't know. Chic? No, but I always say in French, chic, yeah, in French, chic, I don't know, in English, yeah, same word. Um, so if you haven't watched my other Lady Dior... Very ladylike. Very girly. I like it with a dress, although you wore a boyish style, which is different. Mm. Am I done? You don't want to say anything else? No. Uh, it's done so like when we first... When we... You know you promised me that my first Dior bag you were going to buy me, and you never did. The first bag in, I bought In can. I watched this on my cream. Mm. So he... I always liked this bag, but I didn't buy it because it used to have that horrible fastening here, and I didn't buy it. More bags on the sofa than, yeah. Come. And um, yeah, and I still would never have bought it if it wasn't for that. And I was always like, oh, but I really like it, or oh, but it's too girly. And he was always saying it's my favourite bag. Um, but don't ever get it because I want to get you your first dual bag. And I have one, two, three. I have like four now, and you still haven't bought me one. I was, I was thinking. Yeah, I was talking to you. Was you talking about no, something else? No, I was just else. thinking of something completely different. Anyway, yeah. I bought myself four already, so I don't need you. Yeah, yeah, bags. We love them. So yeah, this is Paris's favorite bag, and it makes me like it even more. Okay, well I'm not not saying anything constructive, so okay, I'll get on with it now. Bye. <laughs> Can you shut the door, please? Um, so, if you've watched my other one where I'm unboxing this. Bye. Bye. Um, I've lost track now. I was saying how, um, for me, Lady Dior is very feminine and I was so unsure about getting this and there was a picture which I'll try and find and there was baby blue, grey, like a dove classic Dior grey and this and I was so torn, it took, I was in there for two hours and then I went away for three hours and then came back and it was the hardest decision at picking grey or pink and the reason why I went for happy pink which I love, I absolutely love this classic colour is because this is my girly feminine bag Whenever I want to wear like a girly dress or something, this was my bag and I didn't think I was going to be wearing it that much but I have worn it so much. I've been wearing it with tailored suits like here. It looks great with jeans and it's I could actually wear it more than what I thought and it made me love it even more and this is so practical. This new flap that it has, you don't even know what, what, what's in there. I'm not going to show you because people think I plant things in there to be funny and I'm not so I'm not going to show you. Um, and then when I saw it with this strap I loved it and the badges that I loved but was like oh yeah it's nice but then when I saw the horoscope like this is the Virgo I loved it. So I'm so happy with this and if I could have a choice between only having one I would still go with this size because it's still really small and I love it. They're really practical. Um, and I went with the baby pink because I was like, right, it's going to be a girly bag, go with girly. But the grey was just on my mind, but I refused to buy the same bag in grey, especially when I have my grey classic flap. Um, I thought I had it here, but I don't. It's just like the normal grey classic flap Dior ba uh, Chanel bag. And then I have my Green Moet grey Kelly bag. So I was thinking, mm, do I need any more grey bags? Then I saw the mini and I thought to myself, if it comes in the mini in the grey size, I'm going to maybe get it. And then when I saw it, this has like a pearl, the ring light is on very high because it's completely black outside. So I'm going to do a cutaway with this under natural light, but it has a pearly sheen to it. And I was very unsure about that. And then, then I went back. That was me having a silent panic attack then because I thought it had a scratch and it doesn't. It was a bit of fluff that was stuck. That's what I call a silent panic attack. And now I've gone really hot and I've probably gone red. Um, so yeah, it had a pearly, pearly like sheen to it, which this has. 
So I went back the next day, I went back like three times in a row just to make sure and I held the medium size, well this size small, in the classic dual grey and when I actually looked at it, it was actually very dark and it made me realise that I do really like this and I love anything pearly and I think silver bags are really nice. Um, go with all outfits, look really great in the summer and the winter, so I liked it, but I love it that it's not silver and it's still grey. It looks very light here because the ring light's on very strong. Another reason why I like this is because it comes with the chain and I love that it oh that nearly went in my gym. I love it that the chain has this strap here which makes it really comfortable and it's a completely different look. Like I'm so happy with both bags because it was really important that I didn't just have two the same. Um, like my classic flap Chanel's, they're completely different colours, one's silver, one's gold. So with this, I feel like I'm getting still two completely different bags. And I love the chain, I love how it has a more delicate look to it. I love it that this makes it look a bit more edgy and a bit more casual and it's very comfortable to wear. Um, it still fits my... This is my Google phone, which is the same size as an iPhone Plus. So if you look here, it still fits this bag, this in it perfectly, which if it doesn't fit, I would never buy a bag that didn't fit my huge phone lengthways like this. And then on top of that, it also fits my vlogging camera. Those are the two really important things that I need. And then I'll just put like a lipstick and a credit card and my coin purse. So that's my new bag. I always say that I hate talking about uh, prices, but I think it's really useful for anyone to know about the price in case you're wanting to get it yourself or you're, um, what's the word? This is like my third video I filmed today. Comparing, you're comparing prices around the world. So uh, I paid 2,000, it was 2,200, and then I had some money left over my rewards card, like, 150 something like that, 160 or 60 something like that and that took a little bit less off for me and I did sell two bags to get this and I'm such an idiot that I shipped them yesterday and I really wanted to show you them in this video but I'll put a picture here. I sold my Saint Laurent Sac de Jour, this one, and my red Gucci Dionysus, Dionysus, however you call it. I sold those two bags for this, which more than covered the price for this bag. The reason why I had so many people asking me why I sold those bags, and the real reason was, I have this rule now that when I'm buying it, and I've stuck with it all through last year pretty much, yeah I did, I really did stick with it, that whenever I want to buy a new bag like this, I have to make a sacrifice and I sell something that I already have. Sometimes... I'll make an exception, like this year I might make an exception if I'm treating myself or done really well or something great happened, that's an exception. But there is, I already have enough bags, there's no need for me to keep on collecting and if I haven't worn something for a whole year, I need to get rid of it and it, it was so hard selling those bags because the red Dionysus is so rare, I never see anyone with it, it looks so great with white, t white tee and jeans, oh god now I'm like hating myself for selling it, but it was a great bag and at least I, I sell you really great things, I'm not just like selling my rubbish to you. And then the other one was the like the small Saint Laurent Sac de Jour and I was wrapping it up thinking why am I selling this, it was immaculate, it had all the plastic on the feet, um, the wrapped authenticity card and everything inside, I'd really taken care of it, not one mark on it, um, but I hadn't used it in so long because it's pretty much the same as my Birkin 25, so, and then I thought, what would I rather, this or those two bags, so I made a sacrifice, um, I'm not saying it was like a huge sacrifice, but I, it's like a new rule that I have, and it makes me enjoy the bags so much because I used to buy things and then feel so guilty for spending that amount of money on a bag and I really do, I still think it's so ridiculous spending so much on a bag so it makes me feel better when I'm recycling and then chopping and changing things up so that's the new bag um, I'm really sorry I didn't ask what the name is but I would have found out and it would be on here by now this one's happy pink, the small size, the mini size I don't think I'd ever get the really big one I do like the one next up from this, who knows, maybe next week I'll have it but for now, I'm really happy with these two. I think that these bags are so amazing. And I do think that the mini one, you can wear even more casual. I think it looks so great because of the chain. I think it's um, I can wear it even more boyish 
or less feminine, say, than that one. Um, I think this one was about 2,600, something like that. Um, so not that much more, like basically this isn't that much less than the medium size. But I'm really happy with it, I can't wait to wear it. It looks so great with literally everything I try everything I tried it on with. It looks so good. And I love this tone of grey because I wear my grey Chanel so much. It goes with everything. So hopefully that will give that one a bit of a break and I can start wearing this one. So make sure you're following me on Instagram because I you're gonna see me wearing it there the most, especially on Instagram stories. I love an Instagram story. Um and I guess Make sure you subscribe and I'll be having this in so many different hauls showing you how I dress it. I vlog all the time and uh, you'll see me wearing it in there. Um, yeah, there's not really much else to say. That's pretty much it. This is my new bag. I love it. I told you the price, why I bought it. Um, I'm just so happy with it. I love it. If I missed anything out, let me know in the comment below and I'll get back to you. And then no doubt next week I'll shoot it with an outfit and then anything I didn't include. Um, any questions that you need to know, I'll make sure I answer it on the blog in the next post. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, it's my favourite. Can you see it's curly? I know. <laughs> I'm the one who taught you about these bags, aren't I? Don't 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 the third lady deals, that's so shit. Are you confused?